What is up guys, Harris Autographs back here again with a TTM recap for the past week. I got a couple of TTMs in, I got in three today, so I'm going to show those off and I got a couple of pickups throughout the week. Today was the only day I got any TTMs, but that's all fine with me. I actually sent out 38 TTMs yesterday, which is the most I've ever sent out in like one batch. So really awesome to get all those guys out bunch of the uh, 91 clears I sent out, a few other guys. So it's been really nice seeing what other guys get and then sending up those guys. So I really enjoy watching you guys' videos, finding out who's signing and sending out. So I'm gonna show off what I got today. I got three in, but first I'm gonna show the pickups I made. So this first one's really cool. He's a deceased Hall of Famer. I got this for a 10 bucks. This is a Ace Parker. Uh, Clarence Parker also, you could call him. He was a quarterback, and I believe he played pro baseball as well in the uh, 30s and 40s. He was an awesome TTM signer back before he passed in 2013 or 14. And he's from my area, so uh, he, I can add him to my uh, 757 PC. Guys from the uh, Hampton Roads, Coastal Virginia, whatever you want to call the area. It's the area I live in. So that was pretty cool to add. And then I also added two more Hall of Famers for a $4 each, which I thought was a really good deal, even though, I'll be honest, these aren't the best items to get Hall of Famers on. So first up, I got Fergie Jenkins, who charges $40 in the mail on this uh, Oklahoma City 89ers card. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know who the 89ers were. I guess it's a minor league team that doesn't exist anymore. Apparently they were the Rangers affiliate, but I'm still going to put this in the Cubs section of my uh, book, or box, excuse me, but because he is a uh, Cub in my mind. And really awesome to pick up a Hall of Famer like that. And then this is one of the more interesting things I've ever picked up. Rick Farrell was a Hall of Fame catcher in 1930s and 40s, an eight-time All-Star. And basically, whenever I can find a Hall of Famer for less than five bucks who's dead, I pretty much always jump on it. So I got this check, and on the back, it's signed by Rick Farrell. Now, what am I going to do with the check? Well, the check is for $5, which is less than I paid. So, if worse comes to worse, I can just try to cash this in again. Kidding, but... My goal is I'm going to try to make a custom out of it. I'm going to try to find somebody who can make custom cut cards. Like you would cut out the signature right there and put in a little card. I would like to do this with this one and my, one of my Daniel Jones uh, note cards. Since I don't have them on a card. So I think that would be pretty cool to get. So also going to add two more Hall of Famers to my collection. At some point I'm going to do a video showing all the Hall of Famers I've gotten in baseball and football and a couple of basketball guys. Anyway, let's get on to the TTMs I got this week. I got on three today. So first up, if you haven't gotten this guy, like, what, what are you doing? This is the best TTM signer in the history of the sport, or at least in the modern era of the sport. I know some guys used to sign a ton. This is Pat Neshek, Neshek. I've gotten him three times before. This guy loves signing. A couple days ago on his Instagram, he posted a picture of all the mail he had for the last week, and it was just massive. Really happy to get this back on a couple of Heritage cards. So if you haven't sent to him, I would definitely recommend sending to Pat Neshek. He's an awesome signer, awesome to the fans, fellow card collector. So happy to add some more Pat Neshek to my collection. Next up on... To 1976 tops. We have former Cardinals reliever Al Herboski. Signed these two. These are the only ones I had in my collection of him. Happy to get him. I believe a former All Star. Really solid reliever back in his era. And I believe he's a commentator now for the Cardinals. And then ending it off, got another Bowman draft guy in in about a week. The Herboski took a week, the Neshek took two weeks. In case you guys are wondering. But signing two of two. Both in blue pen. We have Cody House. Sign this one to Connor. And sign this one to Connor. 
Austin at him. Love getting first round guys. You never know. This guy could be the next Cody Bellinger or something. You just don't know at this point. So thank you guys for watching. I probably won't have another video for a couple of days because I'm going out of town for the weekend. So I should be back on a Wednesday with a new video. Hopefully have some good stuff for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.